Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. And um, I wanted to, um, you know, continue talking a little bit because I get questions a lot on the Texan PL990X. And, um, you know, some of you are saying, well, you know, is it still worth it? Is it still something you would buy? Honestly, um, it, you know, if I had to buy a receiver, if I had, if money was not really a problem and I wanted to have, say I, I had no receivers and I needed to repurchase radios, um, I would probably strongly think at repurchasing the Texan PL990X. Um, I think it is a superb radio. Its audio quality is amazing. Its performance is real good. And um, I've been amazed, and I, I need to make a few videos, I've been amazed at the medium wave, long wave performance on it. Uh, including the time, you know, that it all started when I, I, I tuned into the Navtech station on 518 kilohertz. Uh, it blew me away. And um, it is obviously a, a radio that I enjoy using quite a lot. Um, it's never very far. And um, I honestly, <laughs> I, I never, you know, I thought, I, I, never, I didn't think I would actually use it that much. And I find myself using the uh, Bluetooth uh, feature quite a lot using it as a speaker for my devices so you know if I to listen to a podcast on my phone I'll uh, it's it's almost natural I'll just switch the radio to Bluetooth it'll pair with my phone automatically and I'll listen to podcasts uh, truly an amazing little radio uh, and truly having a lot of fun with uh, this Texan PL990X extremely happy to own one and uh, like I said, you know, if I didn't have, let's say that tomorrow morning I'd wake up with no radios, but I do have a budget, a good budget for radios, um, I certainly would have this as a, a purchase once again. A good quality receiver. It feels quality too, even with the, you know, it's not as beautiful as the 880, but it actually still is. It still is uh, a, a very, very good radio. Uh, it does feel in every way a quality, and it works great at what it has to do. So uh, this is ETS scan as it has ETS for scanning rather than ETM. But uh, pretty good, pretty good radio, uh, honestly. Very good, very sensitive. ATS can, as you see here, is great. I think we're going to do a few today and post the results. Um, maybe do uh, and compare some of the ETS scan with the uh, ETS scan of the uh, County Com GP5 SSB here. Uh, we'll be checking that out for sure. So it's really nice to own these radios, and um, I am still happy with the 990X. You know, I see a lot of comments of the people that uh, say, well, you know, not worth the price, it's too expensive. We've come to a, a, a price point in radios that makes it difficult now to spend more than, you know, 100, 150 bucks for a radio. Um, there are so many good radios out there that have come on the market and that actually cost so little that we get to a point where, you know, how much money do I want to spend on a radio? Um, you know, an example of that is the new CNG and ATS 909X2. Um, my personal opinion is that radio is not at all worth its price. But that's my personal opinion. Um, it doesn't bring anything that other radios do. Yeah, I say the same thing on the 990X. You ask me, is that better than my... Texan PL680, or is that better than, uh, it's different, but don't think you're going to buy this and get stations you were not getting with the Texan PL680, which, you know, is half the price. Um, I'm not pushing this radio. I'm happy to own it, and I am, it's it's one of my good radios, and it's it, it does feel and is higher end and the way that it tunes and the way that it works. But then again, you could save a few bucks and get the 880, which honestly, for real, a lot of people talk about it. It's true that the 880 is sexier. It is more beautiful as a radio. 
But when you have an 880, there's... I don't see why you should get a 990X. Because it doesn't really bring you much more. Except disconnecting the AM long wave antenna and Bluetooth. Remove that. Uh, same radio, same performance pretty much. Um, it's it's really a question of what do you want and what, what do you want. Uh, but it's definitely... Uh, nice, and I think there are some some places with um, you know where the receivers are worth paying a little more. Uh, the Texan PL nine nine zero X is an example, but you know you get to a point where the performance of radios is so close that it all comes down to. What other features does it offer that are, is appealing to me, you know? Um, and that's it. And, you know, I, 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 I was mentioning that I find a CNG and ATS 909X2 a, uh, too expensive for what it is. Especially if you purchased it now and, you know, there's all of these bugs that people are actually reporting and some deafness in certain frequency ranges. Um... I will say it again, it's not normal that a radio is sold with so many problems. It should not happen. Uh, especially at that price point. You know, you're not buying a $50 radio, you're buying a $300 plus radio. It's, it's crazy. But you know, we all have our radio that we like, we all have our radio that we love. Some of you will purchase or have purchased the X2, the 909 CNG and 909 X2. And you're happy with it, and I think that is the you know drawing the line is there. Is you're happy with it, cool. You know that that's all that counts. Um, you know I'm happy with the PL nine nine zero X, and uh, I do think it's worth its price point because it is higher end in several of its features in a way that it does it, um, which is something that other portables don't have, including that really precise tuning of single sideband uh, with the calibration and everything that that really is cool and um, you know I've s said it often because it's a question of knowing how the features work uh, one comment that I did see on this radio is uh, well you know I don't see why I should get this rather than you know a hundred dollar radio it's it's not better um, it is in some aspect and you know when I say that tuning around with this feels closer to tuning a desktop receiver that's part of the experience of why we pay more for stuff and why people buy a desktop receiver added flexibility and you know there's the side of people like to have bigger radios also and added you know a, a desktop receiver on its own is, uh, is, is an interesting experience when you manually tune around the bands and the Texan PL 990X gives that same experience but in a portable radio and uh, that's where you start seeing that these are interesting um, radios and and you know why is a radio worth a price more than another uh, it's all uh, things that are interesting to uh, to talk about and in our personal experience but like I said you know you could save a few bucks you'll have an 880 and you'll have a great radio that is similar has the same tuning capabilities uh, just misses out on a few things and once again if you have a XH Data D808 and you're happy if you have a Texan PL680 you're happy if you have a C-Crane CC Skywave SSB and you're happy you know what there's absolutely no need to buy this because those radios that I just mentioned are pretty much going to get the same signals. It's just missing out on, uh, you know, some of the abilities. But it's not missing out on any signals that, you know, one will get and the other won't. Uh, they all will pretty much all have similar sensitivity and capabilities and will do the job. It's a very interesting uh, conversation we could have with radios like this and why some people like you know uh, certain types of radios and others don't and, and you know and price is also 
uh, something that is um, different for everybody also you know how much are you willing to to shed uh, in money for a hobby also all of these uh, have to come into play and thinking what should I get as a, a radio and, and you know, a good radio that receives signals if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching